It's basic placebo research, really, the same sort of thing that you see in medical research looking at the, the effectiveness of certain dr drugs. Um, we know from decades of research that one of the biggest predictors of, of change in behaviour once a person's drinking is actually the beliefs and expectations that person has about the effects of alcohol on their behaviour. Um, uh, you know, it's a kind of a very obvious example that most people should be able to, 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 to relate to, is the fact that alcohol affects the same person in lots of different ways, depending upon the mood that they're in when they start drinking, the intentions they've got at the start of the night, and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's more realistic and um, you don't notice a change, you don't notice it is research and you are, in a sense, a guinea pig. Could be just doing what you normally do, but if someone study. Um, we've also looked at things like using the fruit machine, um, risk-taking behaviour. So we've found that when people are using a fruit machine in a bar, they actually take more risks. And so when they're uh, given an opportunity to double or, uh, you know, double or quits, as it were, on the fruit machine, they're much more likely in a pub environment to actually press the button and risk losing more money. Mm, it, it sounds really um, great research to be involved in, and I'd love to look into it a bit more. And so uh, I, I don't mind to be part of that. <laughs> Well, I think it's some, it looks like something really fun to do and definitely better than a student union. And if it's a free drink, well, alcoholic or non-alcoholic, I will still definitely try it. Looks like fun. It feels like a real bath, so <laughs> I'll definitely try it. But, I mean, really what we're trying to do to some extent is to, to plug the gap in terms of the research methods that we have available to us because a lot of the research that we do in labs is obviously extraordinarily unrealistic because a person comes to a lab, they sit in a bar, they're given a certain amount of alcohol by a researcher and it feels very odd. Um, if you go out into the field and start to do research in pubs, which we have done, um, that's obviously much more realistic, but very difficult to control from a scientific perspective to get reliable, replicable findings. And so this facility is effectively something in between those two. Um, I mean, from the students' perspective, what we're looking for, partly because the research that we're doing is very, you know, extraordinarily well controlled in terms of making sure we're protecting the participants and looking after their safety. Um, when a person comes to take part, we'll be giving them usually a very measured dose of alcohol if they're getting alcohol at all, um, to ensure that they get to a particular blood alcohol concentration. So we need to know how much they're drinking. Um, at the end of the experiment, we usually require participants to stay until they're pretty much sobered up. So actually, the investment from an individual participant view, uh, point of view um, is the amount of alcohol they're getting kind of usually outweighs the commitment they need to make to actually come and take part.